Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Board. We are back with our Rye Shootout Championship. Took us a while to recover. That was, uh, we learned some lessons. I wore Punisher shirts, apropos. We learned some lessons. We Ooh. sat down, there was four brackets, mm. four Rye's in each one, so 16 Rye's. Bam, first rule, don't listen. Uh, well, go with the plan. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan, and which was to shoot one a day. Yeah, I thought two would Maybe be better. Maybe two. Right, I kind of convinced you for two. But we should have stopped there. Because we were rolling, though. you got to admit, though, three has been the best reviewed. Yes. But you can tell we started to come a little unraveled. We, some of those uh, 16 samples, well, at that point, were up to 12. <laughs> and they were kicking in. Well, I was smelling an A. We got done with three, we said. Try my D. Let's shoot the fourth one. <laughs> and we did. We should not have done that. Definitely should not have done the fourth one. I thought a three was was gold. Three was gold. I didn't drink for a week. Actually, five days after Right. That. Yeah, mine was, I, I think, uh, four days and 15 hours. <laughs> and then I finally tried a real life now, something. I also want to point out, for some reason, after we shot three of them, and I was in my Scotch Trooper shirt and a black ball cap, I thought I needed to change so that the viewers wouldn't think we shot all four of them. Boom! The Always time. good to figure that out. The fourth one in. Like three shooting three right. is okay. I missed a shirt change <laughs> from second to third. I kept oh. the same shirt, then I got but, back on track. So for the our audio is on, right? Yes. Boom. All right. So for the championship, though, I thought I'm going back to the Scotch Trooper shirt, but then I couldn't find the black hat I was wearing, so you got another ball cap. Good. So to recap, though, uh, we probably should pull in the whiteboard. Let me grab oh. it real All right. All right. So we set it up. We're going to bring it in. All right. Break it down, Bruno. Break it down. Okay. Uh, most of you probably know, if you haven't watched the four brackets, they're black. Brackets. They are filmed individually. Should have been a black hat. Bracket one of four, bracket two of four, three of four, and four of four. One, two, three, four. Bracket one out of Jack Daniels Rye, Templeton Six, Corsair Rymageddon, and the Bullet Rye. I chose Corsair Rymageddon. Templeton Six jumped way out for me. Bartow took the Templeton Six, which oh. and actually that was the one I, I narrowed it down. It was either the Corsair or the Templeton Go that watch I was advancing. It. Go watch that. And then bracket two hit with which Whistle some, Pig. Some people oh. are saying it's overrated or overvalued. Sorry, go ahead. Whistle Pig, Rittenhouse. What's overvalued? Rittenhouse, Pepper 1776, <laughs> and the baby what? Zazarac. Uh, Pepper 1776, Barrel Proof. Overpowered, I think. Sorry. Some people were this saying one? that was no. Right, bracket two. Two, two saying yes. It was overpowered. Okay. Yeah. But we uh, kind of did that on purpose. Too many, heavy, ABV. too many heavy hitters in there. Higher ABV. We wanted them to fight each other out. Well, yeah. What do you do? You gotta do you put them all together in one bracket, or do you separate, them, separate out? them out? That's hard. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what's going on. Um, so bracket, and we both chose James Pepper Barrel Proof. Uh, bracket number three: Masterson's Michter's Barrel Proof Wild Turkey Eighty One Rye and the Dickel Rye. Right, and we both picked Michter's. It was close for me and the Dickel. <laughs> yeah. But it ended up being Michter's for both of us. And I, th I think I was down to the Michter's or the Masterson's. Mm -hmm. Tune into that one because that one has been the most watched and shared video. We start to get loose yes. right in there. Off the rails. If you get off the rails. Bracket four. Yes. So we got High West. That's the double rye. We got Woodford Reserves rye, the Pikesville and the Crown Royal Northern Harvest Rye, or what we call the NHR, mm -hmm. Pikesville for both of us yep. stood out. A lot of people were surprised that the High West Double Rye didn't carry the day. It's a mix of a young rye and an old rye. Um, well, and we both were down, we were, we were narrowing it down between the Pikesville and the High West Double Rye to advance, and we both chose the Pikesville. Pikesville took the day. So we're going to set this back down here. Now, we also had some comments come in from you, the viewers, and uh, on some things to do different. Number one, you're going to see visually, <laughs> we moved away from the A, B, C, D labeling system. Yes, we did. And that was because there was a lot of like, wow, the D is delicious. Yes. Or Did you smell your A? Yes, yeah, smell A. A has a distinct smell. 
<laughs> so Jesse Voison pointed out we couldn't use A, B, C, D anymore. Right. We needed Jesse. to go one, two, three, four. Yes. But we decided Spun Roman up numerals. A little bit. Went Roman numerals. Roman numerals. One, two, three, four. Right. So now uh, we had a good comment from Mike Galosi also a recommendation. He recommended uh, Cousin Shane singing the oh. national anthem for we, us. We were trying to do that. It was just one extra wrinkle trying to get it in. We couldn't with the get film. together with him right. to get this done. We could have delayed this and brought this. No out delay. Later. No delay. Exactly. The demand out there. Boom. Let's now go moving ahead. in, there was also uh, we were so overwhelmed, nose or, or smell wise, you'd suggested what could we do? Some people said smell the back of your hand in order to cleanse it, but better yet, multiple multiple people said get some whole coffee beans. And smell that in between, and it cleanses. And just yeah. some of the folks. Uh, this should be everybody. If I miss you, I apologize. But we had Ruben Fernandez, Jamie Beaver, Beave. Mr. Moto 505. Love the Moto. That's crazy. Wow. Travis Faircloth, Ooh. Jerry Bartlett, Faircloth, and 22 Catch 22, who is Mon also Monty in Texas. Wow, go Monty. I'm loving that last name, Faircloth. So, yeah. Huh. What we've done, Bart poured my samples. Now, I have these four. I have the Corsair Rhymageddon. You got both cards over here? I've got the Pikesville. No, I've just got mine. Gotcha. I've got the James Pepper and the Michters. Bart poured those for me and labeled them one, two, three, four. He has over there which is which. Yes. Bart just has these four. Take right. out the Corsair Rhymageddon. He's got Templeton 6. Right. So it'll be interesting. What we do again in the shootout, if this is the first one you're tuning in, you really need to go watch the other four. But we, in rapid succession, are trying rise, in this case, in a shootout next to each other and trying to really pick up the differences or how they distinguish. And we've done it blind so that if there is a bias, hopefully we're overcoming that. Um, hopefully let's dive hopefully in. we just pick out. Let's which dive one in. We we're, like. we're like five minutes now, in, right? What's the odds we pick out the same one? I don't know. There, there were some standouts. I mean, I, I was not surprised by the 1776. We loved it when we when we uh, rated it, you know, on the show by itself. The Templeton Six blew me away, as did the Mictors. I still think they're both kind of very pricey, um, but the Mictors originally, I wasn't, you know, I mean, it was good, but I wasn't like an overly enthusiastic fan. And boy, did it stand out! And so did the Templeton Six. Um, and Pikesville caught me off guard as well. So, I mean, it's. We're down to what I think, though, are very, very solid rise. The rhyme of Geddon is great, too. Yes. So, should we dive in and do some nosing of each of the four? Let's We've do it. We've added no water. Wow. Yeah, these are neat. Hmm. So, my one, my Roman numeral one, can't get in trouble with that. Sweet. Now, we did also have one suggest or a couple suggestions came in that we should have a third party pour these and make them the same where my one was the same as your one. Mm, but again, we couldn't get together with Cousin right. Shane. If Shane's here, that's good. That, that would be good because we had, we had you add in all this flashing of what is what, but I thought that was kind of entertaining. It felt almost like yeah. a bas basketball game back and forth. Yeah. Because you're seeing us throw up like the master shot of what these all are and then the individual ones. Yeah, because you're like, this is good. This is definitely the Dickel. I love the Dickel. <laughs> I drink it like, every day. You'd have like, no, that's Mictors <laughs> or yeah. whatever it was. I'd be like, wow. <laughs> wow, sweet, caramel, burnt sugar. Wow. Uh, yeah, cotton candy, hint of bubble gum. Goodness, that's delicious. Wow. One is just phenomenal. I get a very aged oak, sweet rye notes, mm. a doughy, bread rising. Orange zest, with the, that's with my number one. Bread Rising should be like a rock band. Uh, yeah. So, my two. My two. I'm cleansing my nose palate. Gotcha, good idea. I'm getting distinct rye notes, that dill pickle. A um, little bit of that allspice that I'll get on a rye. Smooth, light, crisp, almost minty. Wow, my two is sweet and peppery, spicy. Huh. Was like a black pepper spice. 
Trying and both. I did both the coffee bean and the back of my hand. Yeah. <laughs> did you exhale also? That was your suggestion. Yeah. You just exhale. exhale to just uh, exhale strongly. <laughs> See, I, I'm. these are so delicious, I'm salivating. What else? Oh, sorry, I stepped on you a bit there with, uh, with your two. Well, I think a peppery, or I mean a chocolatey. You're taking a lot of time with your two. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, don't start the number two talk. <laughs> huh. Anything else before I hit my three? No. Okay, three. Sweet with a rye bread. Huh. Dough. That's recalling, I think you said your one was dough. Yeah, I can't remember. I definitely get a, uh, there's still a little bit, not as strong of that, uh, that, um, that rye dillness, but it's there. A little bit of musk. Musk, yes, I know what musk is. I think I do know what that word is. You use that <laughs> word a lot. I do. <laughs> what movie is that from? Princess Bride. Dang it. <laughs> uh, or is it the will I put it in front of you, That's knowing that you would? You keep using that word. I don't <laughs> think it means what you think it means. Enough of the rhymes now. I mean would, it. Would you like a peanut? Anybody want a peanut? <laughs> Dang it. You got it better. <laughs> All right. Maybe a little bit of cherry cola. A little bit of cherry cola there. All right. First of all, this is tough. The nose is just tough. Go ahead yes. with, with... Same here. I'm not getting too much differentiating on this one. Nice rye notes. Hmm. Dill. Oak. That's my number three. Looking at your three. Moving to my four. Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm looking for something in there just to tell me it's different. All three techniques. Strong exhalation. Back of the hand. <laughs> and the coffee. Because my four... That, I'm trying to swirl the beans. Yeah, yeah. My four is the weakest of the lot. As far as nose, subtle sweetness in the in the background, a musk, and I think I had a little spittle fly there. I apologize. <laughs> a muskiness, a dryness, a roasted, a roasted nut or toffee, huh? But this one is coming in. I'm going to kind of, that one's coming in nose-wise the weakest for me. Hmm. I almost got more like a forest in my number four. It's like I was deep in the woods. That's where my three is. And I'm even searching huh. for the rye notes there. Slight, not overpowering. Mm. My distinguisher was number one for its sweetness, that sweet loveliness, and probably number three is a little bit of that forest pine nose, the musk, or something else in there. I can't quite peg right now. Mm. Interesting. So again, currently my number four was weakest nose wise are we ready to taste brother i want to dive in here this is we got some good ones this is the final this is the final one uh, and we're curious to see kind of where i'm very curious to see what will distinguish because these by far stood out all along the road i know what two of my four are wow i could not i'm i'm, I'm amazed i actually thought the uh 1776 would jump out but it's not on the nose now I'll, I'll point it out just in, case I, just in case I'm wrong. Okay. It'll be funny. I'm going to point out, I think number three is the James Pepper. Two is the Rhymageddon. Mm -hmm. one, and, one and four. Mick, Michter's and Pikesville, but I don't know which is which. They're both. All these are good noses. Interesting. Very close. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I've got to start flavor. I've got, got to get the flavor going. So I'm starting with one, which had that sweet, sweet nose. Yep. I'll start with my number one as well. Hmm. And again, yeah, sweet, mm. rich, dark, mm. wow, rye. If you're nosing in, ah, woo, powerful, strong, 
rye dill, right, almost um, sparky right at the get-go. Astringency in the finish, I'm tasting it on my cheek, roof of my mouth, my palate, my upper palate. Beautiful Same. warming sensation. I got some astringency. Astringency. It's very dark. Some there's some, not like milk chocolate in there, but just like a wow. darker, darker wood and the darker chocolate. The rye notes. It's sweet. Mm. Um, I get the the finish uh, flavor profile finishes off sweet, almost like mm. a like a honeycomb or a or a hard vanilla candy. Hmm. Astringency, astringency, the dryness lingers. It's very oaky. Wow. That's a good one. I'm sliding to two. Almost more of a, a pickle dill. Slight orange zest. Hmm. Wow. Ooh. Number two is an explosion of dill. A bursting. I mean, it even caught me with a slight inhalation. If I had to peg it, I would say that's the 1776 because it jumps up, slaps you in the face, and you say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you get like a full on slap, and you're like, thank you, man, have another. Wow. Wow. Um, bringing a totally. It's stepped away. There's not really a sweetness tucked in there. It's a. It's that I am rye, here I stand. Huh. Wow, those two are going to be in battle with each other. We'll see how these other ones do. Woo! Wow. wow. Number two. Um, it was delicious. I'm still, I'm still standing out. Really? Yeah, I know it's the rhyme again. Okay, know. okay, so you know, you can pick up. <laughs> Ryan McGinn Mag is distinct. And, and I wondered, though, how it would compare, and even going next to number one, it's still, it's holding its own. And I thought, I hoped I didn't, uh, it's probably the weakest one at 40, it's 46%. I've got the Pikesville at 55, the Pepper at 58.6, and the Michters at 57 and it's holding its own wow. flavor profile-wise, taste-wise. This is hard because uh, <laughs> this is where I got those forest notes on the nose and, uh, and I get a breadiness, a sweet, almost like a sweet sugar cookie ball before it's baked. Mm. And, Wow, the flavor is rye, but much subtler than the two. But this this does have the wrapped-in sweetness with it. Three is my James E. Pepper. I can tell it is young, it is sparky, it is fire, wow. and it's good. Wow. Sharp rye notes, sharp dill, sharp bread rising. It's all in there. It's young. And it socks you in the mouth. My goodness, this is tough. At this point, I'm just trying to eliminate one. <laughs> These four are all uniquely <laughs> different, <laughs> but delicious. <laughs> okay, I gotta try. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing. I would, I mean, I can clearly tell they're different. I, I would hazard that number two is the 1776. I think three might be Mictors. And I want to say one is the Templeton, but but I haven't gone back to them, you know, since our, our, our brackets. Nope, I haven't either. So I don't know, but I mean, I whew, you put any of these in front of me, and I'm like, thank you. Okay, I'm just going on to my tasting on the number four. Mm-hmm. Me too. Mm-hmm. Boy, well, just back to the nose on it. A great what? sweet richness. <laughs> what? What? This is phenomenal. <laughs> this was the weakest on the nose. I get a uh, mm. an effervescence. I, a almost a, a a spearmint flavor where you get that cool rush to the mouth. 
a tingle lingers and a rye is all enveloped underneath. Can we pick all of them? <laughs> wow. I tell you right off, the palette on number four almost made me declare it the winner right there. Huh. You'll see, I'm going to go back through. That was delicious. Definitely rich. Oaky. There's astringency, astringency in it as well. And it's strong. I'm going to try to do a culling. Hmm? A culling means a removal. Oh. Now, Woo! Mm. Boy, that's good too. I'm going to add a little water. I'm going to go down my row and add water to each. Let me try number one now. I've pulled two. I've pulled two out. It's rocky, spicy, powerful punch. I think it's the 1776. I believe it's youth is showing up. It's uh, phenomenally delicious. But rapid fire as I'm going here... It, it had a, a twinge of sour. It's almost so strong that it feels like it shocks the taste buds. So whatever it is, we're pulling it out. One is good. Two's good. Three's good. Four's good. Hmm. Which one did you pull out? Two, which I believe is 1776. Darn it. I believe three is out. It's going to sit mid-level at this point in time. Wow. Hold on. This is tough. It is. Because all of these are winners. Um... Wow, really loving the sweetness of one. Mm. One and four are really similar. I know. Ooh. It's got like a very sweet dill, sweet relish on number mm. two. Well, one had. Had a better nose. Four was the nose was kind of weak, ready. But boy, is the flavor hanging in there. Let me just touch this three. God Almighty! I can. I mean, it's so good. It's got a strong rye note. Hmm. One is rich, oaky, dill, rye, four. Hmm. Four brings in a sweetness and a peppery over it. I'm going to declare right now my number four is my winner. It's my winner. I haven't eliminated any, but I can just tell you as you go down, um, it stands out. Use your four. Yeah, the four stood out. I mean, all of these are phenomenal. Like I said, I'm going to say again, I could be way wrong. I believe number two is my 1776. And it, the power it brings is impressive. But again, I believe its youth is showing a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I got just a just a hint of a sourness. Let's, let's go in. Let's reveal, I guess, and then we'll okay. let's talk about. Yeah, we should talk we about them because they're tight. All right, I'm going to give you yours here. Your okay. number one. Number one. It's either the Michters or the Pikesville. It's Pikesville. Okay, it so I know Pikesville. what my winner is. Then. Okay, you think it's Michters, right? Mm -hmm. You think four is Michters because your two is rhyme again. You mm -hmm. called it. Mm -hmm. Your three is 1776, mm -hmm. and sure enough, four is Michters. Okay. All right, so give me mine real quick, and then we'll discuss what they are. Here, here it lays. 
Um, first so one me. you first one you eliminated was number two, the James E. Pepper. Yep. Seventeen seventy. Yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's just it's it's That's, got a specialness. Yeah, it's still I still I still love it. Love all these. And I really wanted to say coming into this, I thought, man, I love that seventeen seventy six, and I want it to be the winner. But it brings something different that these others aren't. Yeah. It brings youth, and it brings spiciness, and it brings a slap you in the face rye, like right. you said. Right, right. It was amazing. Uh, it, again, any one, all of these have won. They're all phenomenal. It was just the uh, that youth kind of shows a little bit. I think I wouldn't have been able to pick that out necessarily unless we were doing this. And uh, so phenomenal. Still good, sweet. Phenomenal. And it's dill. Mm. A and, great buy if you this thirty six to thirty nine dollar range. And I would bring this down. I bring this down with water when I sip it. Oh, definitely. Hint: I went and bought two of these as soon as I found them. Mm. I mean, they were phenomenal. Okay, Actually, you had me buy you two as soon as I found them. You work for me. That's what I was basically <laughs> implying. You said I'm here. They've got three. I said throw two in for me. Boom. What is number... Uh, okay, well, let me talk... Uh, okay, we haven't got to yours yet. The right. second one you eliminated no, was no, the no, Templeton. No, no. Just tell me what number one is. The second one you eliminated was the Templeton. I did, I, these were both out at the number same three. time. Number three. Okay. Number I didn't three eliminate. was the Templeton. Templeton was number three. Yeah, these you pushed it out. Yeah, it was midline, though. I wasn't sure. That's why okay. I still tasted it. What happened was I, I could definitely tell the slight sourness, the youth, boom, out. I would say these two, one and three, finished together. I could barely distinguish. I almost brought three back in. Templeton six is number three. Okay, so you're down to the Mictors and the Pikesville for your for number. Number four. one's Pikesville. Number you one is Pikesville, I believe. You advanced number four though. You I did, but I me. believe one is Pikesville. Your number four is Pikesville. Really? Wow. So Mictors is number one. Your Mictors was your Mictors was your number one. Wow. Mictors was my number four because huh. that's the one that I advanced. So okay, let's go back here side by side again. I'll tell you, when I went side by side with them, both richer, both um, oakier. To me, I got a little bit more of a sweetness and a little bit more of a spiciness with the But I, I think that's interesting. So you've picked the Mictors, I've picked the Pikesville. Mm -hmm. And what's the cost on the Mictors? It's expensive. 60. Right. What's the cost on the Pikesville? 55. 55. Wow. Huh. Yeah, go back even now. Now here's the amazing part. The the nose on, on the Pikesville Ooh. is still not my favorite nose. It was my least favorite nose of the group. Oh really? Yeah. One had the sweet nose, and again, where's my card? Let me have my card here so I can just see. Of yours? Yeah. So again, one, the Mictors had that sweet nose on it, and that Templeton, the number three, had that foresty great taste. Um, and and the Pikesville had the weakest nose, but boy, did it jump in with taste. And sure enough, mm, mm. both good. It was hard choosing between the two. They're both really similar. They're both really similar. Man, is that flavorful. Every one of these should be in your bar. Every single one of these is phenomenal. Even in this phenomenal grouping, they have their distinguishing characteristics, the nose that we've described, the flavors. Um, wow. I mean, uh, again, I can't say enough about where ryes are at nowadays. I know they're very hard to distill. They're real frothy. Um, they can cause fits. Uh, they're a lot more cleanup involved, but thank you, thank you. These are delicious. Huh. Thoughts? Number two was the Corsair Rimageddon again, and it held up better than I thought. I, I was scared that it would not hold its own against these others. Scared. Yeah, I scared it. But it did good. It's a 46%, so it's a little bit less on the ABV. But it's very distinct. It's very delicious. Mm. I mean, the, the rye notes that it brings and those milk chocolate notes at the same time. Um, if you haven't tried the Corsair Rimageddon, you need to. Right. Uh, the James Pepper 1776, believe me, I desperately wanted to advance this. I love See, it. That shows a bias. I, I took it as it is. Well, yeah, I did too. Uh, yeah. And that's, okay, yeah. good. See, I have no... 
Are you didn't come in. You wanted didn't come to in. advance this. Yeah. You didn't come in just thinking, nah, I really like that one. I want it. No. Huh. I thought it was a favorite because it was so powerful. And you haven't ever had like four girls, and you think, well, I really like Betsy. I kind of really hope she digs me. Girls and bottles. <laughs> All for go answering the question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love the pe the James Pepper 1776. It is unique in its own, though, as well. Yeah. And I'm still going to keep this around. I love it. But youth. It's, it's youth yeah. and it's um, spiciness just socks you in the mouth and lets you know it's, it's, it's different. It's like when we were 17. When you have these side by side, though, and you bring in, and we both got down to the Michters and the Pikesville, and these are coming in at six, seven, eight years of age. It's, it is interesting. It shows. Yeah. It shows. Uh, it brings out more of that oakiness. Hmm. Um, to me, the richness. See, I'm not wood forward. Rye. I'm not wood forward. Well, it's not too much, though. Sure. What surprised me the most is that the Pikesville paled in comparison on the nose. It wasn't, I mean, I was excluding it. If it was a nose only contest, Pikesville was out. And it probably hmm. would have been Templeton that won if we were just nosing. Um, but the second we get into tasting, boy, does it come in and distinguish itself. Again, the whole lot was difficult. I was amazed. I actually thought there would be a standout. And the first, I, I can confidently say there's no standout. The first thing was I could pick up the youth of this, the youth and the power and the strength. And, uh, and then it got extremely, extremely tough. Every one of these is a winner. Um, but, uh, yeah, I actually thought I was picking the Michters when I, uh, when I picked the Pikesville to win. And, uh, so you had a bias. No. No, I just you thought, thought I was picking the Michters. You didn't just pick the favorite. I did not rate Michters no. high at all when we <laughs> rate, yeah, rated the individual. Now, yeah. I mean, I rated, they were good. Uh, one thing we didn't point out dur during the shootout before is the Pikesville is the higher proof, um, more aged Rittenhouse rye. Right. Right. Bond, um, it's uh, the Rittenhouse Rye bottled in Bond, which, which we both like. This is its like big brother. Yes. Aged, it's older. Mm -hmm. So uh, From Heaven Hill Distillery. Right. So good job there. Um, to me, though, the Michters side by side with the Pikesville, a little bit sweeter and a little bit spicier as well. Mm. Both, I mean, both well done. Can't go wrong them. with any one of these. Um, I think the rye shootout, in this case, all 16, really distinguished itself nicely. When you see how clearly some of these won, and then you get into this last pooling and how difficult it is, and then selecting one, and how we both come down to these two as our final two. Out of 16. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, to me, that says a lot. And we have different flavor profiles. We really do. So we're able to pick up some subtleties. And thank you for all the comments and the tips with the uh, the cleansing uh, of the nose and everything else that's come along. And I'm one, glad we went with Roman numerals. One thing real quick, Bart. Yes. Take out the rise that you bought. Well, I bought this one. Now I've bought two of these. Okay. <laughs> but no, originally though, before you bought those, after the reviews... I bought all of those right there. I just want to point that out. I must have good taste in rye. Sure. I just, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Because like, now I'm going to tell you everything I'm going to purchase. <laughs> Maybe those are for sale. I'm purchasing, and I've already got two of these in house. They're, oh, yeah, oh, they're right behind me. Yeah. I need to yeah they're in there. there. Boom. They're down there. So, yeah. Now, which is, uh, okay, on your shelf. there's a 100 proof version of this. The barrel proof version is distinguishable by the red uh, foil seal right. on it. What's the, is there no foil seal at all? On I the, think it's black on the black. other. Yeah, okay. yeah. So black or green on the red. Pay red. attention to that. All of these, put them in your bar, have these as your rye, add in the dickle. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, you don't got to throw no, that no, in. No, add in the dickle because it's have cost to effective and add in the Rittenhouse rye. You want to oh, you got to add in the Woodford yeah. Reserve. Put them all in. in the, the Jack Bullet Daniels. Rye is good. Um, yeah, Zazerac, you can't go yeah, wrong. Can't. Here's what we are going to do. I'm you can't telling... go wrong with the pronunciation. Right, Zaz. 
I'm telling Scott what we need to do is a top five rye for beginners. Because I'm going to tell you, some of these, I'm not going to tell you which, should not be on the beginner's side. But there are a few that should be in here as beginners. Hmm. I would start beginners out a little bit different. Um, so just saying these are the best, I wouldn't tell them, hey, right. these are the top five go get. So we've got to do a top five rye. I think it's. I think rye is going to explode. This uh, we did have one viewer point out too, and I should have pulled that up. That said, isn't it interesting that none of your finalists was in our top five ryes of 2016? Right. That was a good point. But, it, but we thought about that because we said, should we do a top five rye for 2016? And I said, let's do it. And then let's see if the shootout, if any of those, if we're able to pick them out. Yeah, you and called we did. it. Right. Yeah, you called it. Let's do it. Let's see where they, you know, we filmed it. We captured it. We always do that in January of whatever the new year is. And then we did this rye shootout later. Because I honestly, and to be quite honest, I think it's the best way to review a whiskey is a whiskey by itself. Taking some time with it, a lot of time with it. We take notes and then we do it again at least one more time together and it's usually had a few months to open up the way we schedule out our shows and I think you review a bottle in and of itself. The shootouts are a little crazy, a lot of whimsy. I think they're very good in terms of being able to judge everything individually together if that makes sense but trust me we know we're mixing our palettes up here we're not properly cleansing. Uh, there's even a little bit of show in terms of but it's a very different way of saying, try it, try it, try it. This stands out, and this is why. Okay, so I believe they're almost separate yet and distinct. Uh, the standalone and the group shootout, which is uh, aptly named. It's crazy. Okay. Now, I would say um, when we wrote this up, we had the verses here, like our final four went into a verses. Not really. This is so. This is my pick, and that's Bart's pick over right. there. Um, and we both that was the two that we narrowed right. it down. And to. technically, your number one's my number two, and vice versa. Yeah. So I mean, so um, yeah, it's uh, by at the very least, go pick those two up. I'm telling you. All right, scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. smell that in between and it cleanses and just yeah. some of the folks uh this should be everybody if i miss you i apologize but we had ruben fernandez jamie beaver beave mr moto 505 love the moto that's crazy wow. travis faircloth Ooh. jerry bartlett faircloth and 22 catch 22 who is Mon also monty in texas wow go monty i'm loving that last name faircloth so yeah huh. What we've done, Bart poured my samples. Now, I have these four. I have the Corsair Rhymageddon. You got both cards over here? I've got the Pikesville. No, I've just got mine. Gotcha. I've got the James Pepper and the Michters. Bart poured those for me and labeled them one, two, three, four. He Boom. has over there which is which. Yes. Bart just has these four. Take right. out the Corsair Rhymageddon. He's got Templeton six. Right. So it'll be interesting. What we do again in the shootout, if this is the first one you're tuning in, you really need to go watch the other four. But we in rapid succession are trying rise in this case in a shootout next to each other and trying to really pick up the differences or how they distinguish. And we've done it blind so that if there is a bias, hopefully we're overcoming that. Um, hopefully let's dive hopefully in. we just pick out. Let's which dive one in. We we're, like. we're like five minutes now, in, right? What's the odds we pick out the same one? I don't know. There, there was some standouts. I mean, I, I was not surprised by the 1776. We loved it when we when we uh, rated it, you know, on the show by itself. The Templeton Six blew me away, as did the Mictors. I still think they're both kind of very pricey, um, but the Mictors originally, I wasn't, you know, I mean, it was good, but I wasn't like an overly enthusiastic fan. And boy, did it stand out! And so did the Templeton Six. Um, and Pikesville caught me off guard as well. So I mean, it's. 
We're down to what I think, though, are very, very solid ryes. The rye McGreddon is great, too. Yes. So, should we dive in and do some nosing of each of the four? Let's We've do it. We've added no water. Wow. Yeah, these are neat. Hmm. So, my one, my Roman numeral one, can't get in trouble with that. Sweet. Now, we did also have one suggest or a couple suggestions came in that we should have a third party pour these and make them the same. Where my one was the same as your one. Mm, but nervous. again, we couldn't get together with Cousin right. Shane. If Shane's here, that's good. That, that would be good because we had, had you add in all this flashing of what is what, but I thought that was kind of entertaining. It felt almost like yeah. a bas basketball game back and forth. Yeah. Because you're seeing us throw up like the master shot of what these all are and then the individual ones. Yeah, because you're like, this is good. This is definitely the Dickel. I love the Dickel. <laughs> and I drink it have, every day. You'd have like, no, that's Michter's or yeah. whatever it was. <laughs> I'd be like, wow. <laughs> wow, sweet, caramel, burnt sugar. Wow. Uh, yeah, cotton candy, hint of bubble gum. Goodness, that's delicious. Wow. One is just phenomenal. I get a very aged oak, sweet rye notes, mm. a doughy bread rising. Orange zest, with that's with my number one. Bread Rising should be like a rock band. Uh, yeah. So, my two. My two. Cleansing my nose. Palette. Gotcha. Good idea. I'm getting distinct rye notes. That dill pickle. Um, a little bit of that allspice that I'll get on a rye. Smooth, light, crisp, almost minty. Wow, my two is sweet and peppery, spicy. Huh. Was like a black pepper spice. Trying and both. I did both the coffee bean and the back of my hand. Yeah. <laughs> did you exhale also? That was your suggestion. Yeah. You just exhale. exhale to just exhale strongly. <laughs> See, I, I'm, these are so delicious, I'm salivating. What else? Oh, sorry, I stepped on you a bit there with, uh, with your two. Well, I think a peppery, or I mean a chocolatey. You're taking a lot of time with your two. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, don't start the number two talk. <laughs> huh. Anything else before I hit my three? No. Okay, three. Sweet with a rye bread. Huh. Dough. That's recalling, I think you said your one was dough. Yeah, I can't remember. I definitely get a, uh, there's still a little bit, not as strong of that, uh, that, um, that rye dillness, but it's there. A little bit of musk. Musk, yes, I know what musk is. I think I do know what that word is. You use that <laughs> word a lot. I do. <laughs> what movie is that from? Princess Bride. Dang it. Uh, or is it the way I put it in front of you, That's knowing that you would... You keep using that word. I don't <laughs> think it means what you think it means. Enough of the rhymes now. I mean would, it. Would you like a peanut? Anybody want a peanut? <laughs> Dang it. You got it better. <laughs> All right. Maybe a little bit of cherry cola. A little bit of cherry cola there. Oh, Pepper 1776 and the baby what? Zazarac. Uh, Pepper 1776. Barrel proof. Overpowered, I think. Sorry. Some people were this saying one? that was no. It's Bracket two, two was two, saying yes. it was overpowered. Okay. Yeah. But we kind of did that on purpose. Too many Higher heavy, ABV. Too many heavy hitters in there. Higher ABV. We wanted them to fight each other out. Well, yeah. What do you do? You got to, do you put them all together in one bracket or do you separate, them, separate out? them out? That's hard. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see what's going on. Um. So, bracket. And we both chose James Pepper barrel proof. Uh, bracket number three, Masterson's. Michter's Barrel Proof, Wild Turkey 81 Rye, and the Dickel Rye. Right, and we both picked Michter's. It was close for me and the Dickel. <laughs> yeah. But it ended up being Michter's for both of us. And I, th I think I was down to the Michter's or the Masterson's. Mm -hmm. Tune into that one because that one has been the most watched and shared video. We started to get loose yes. right in there. Off the rails. If you yeah, Off the rails. Bracket four. Yes. So we got High West, that's the double rye. We got Woodford Reserves rye, the Pikesville, 
and the Crown Royal Northern Harvest Rye, or what we call the NHR, mm -hmm. Pikesville for both of us yep. stood out. A lot of people were surprised that the High West Double Rye didn't carry the day. It's a mix of a young rye and an old rye. Um, well, and we both were down, we were, we were narrowing it down between the Pikesville and the High West true. Double Rye to advance, and we both chose the Pikesville. Pikesville took the day. So we're going to set this back down here. Now, we also had some comments come in from you, the viewers, and uh, on some things to do different. Number one, you're going to see visually, <laughs> we moved away from the ABCD labeling system. Yes, we did. And that was because there was a lot of like, wow, the D is delicious. Yes. Or Did you smell your A? Yes, yeah, smell A. A has a distinct smell. <laughs> so Jesse Voison pointed out we couldn't use A, B, C, D anymore. Right. We needed Jesse. to go one, two, three, four. Yes. But we decided Spun Roman up numerals. A little bit. Went Roman numerals. Roman numerals. One, two, three, four. Right. So now uh, we had a good comment from Mike Galosi also a recommendation. He recommended uh, cousin Shane singing the oh. national anthem for we, us. We were trying to do that. It was just one extra wrinkle trying to get it in. We couldn't with the get film. together with it right. to get this done. We could have delayed this and brought this. No out delay. Later. No delay. Exactly. The demand out there. Boom. Let's now move moving it. in, there was also uh, we were so overwhelmed nose or, or smell wise. You'd suggested what could we do? Some people said smell the back of your hand in order to cleanse it. But better yet, multiple multiple people said get some whole coffee beans. All right. First of all, this is tough. The nose is just tough. Go ahead yes. with, with same here. I'm not getting too much differentiating on this one. Nice rye notes, hmm. dill, oak. That's my number three. Looking at your three, moving to my four. Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm looking for something in there just to tell me it's different. All three techniques, strong exhalation, back of the hand, <laughs> and the coffee. Because my four... That, I'm trying to swirl the beans. Yeah, yeah. My four is the weakest of the lot, as far as nose. Subtle sweetness in the, in the background. A musk. And I think I had a little spittle fly there, I apologize. <laughs> A muskiness, a dryness, a roasted, a roasted nut or toffee. Huh. But this one is coming in. I'm going to kind of, that one's coming in nose wise, the weakest for me. Hmm. I almost got more like a forest in my number four. It's like I was deep in the woods. That's where my three is. I'm even searching huh. for the rye notes there. Slight, not overpowering. Hmm. My distinguisher was number one for its sweetness, that sweet loveliness, and probably number three is a little bit of that forest pine nose. The musk, or something else in there. I can't quite peg right now. Hmm. Interesting. So again, currently my number four was weakest nose-wise. Are we ready to taste, brother? I want to dive in here. This is we got some good ones. This is the final. This is the final one, uh, and we're curious to see. Kind of where I'm very curious to see what will distinguish because these by far stood out all along the road. I know what two of my four are. Wow, I could not. I'm 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 amazed. I actually thought the uh, 1776 would jump out, but it's not on the nose. Now, I'll, po I'll point out just again. in case I just in case I'm wrong. Okay, it'll be funny. I'm going to point out. I think number three is the James Pepper. Two is the Rhymageddon. One. Mm -hmm. and hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Board. We are back with our Rye Shootout Championship. Took us a while to recover. That was, uh, we learned some lessons. I wore Punisher shirts, apropos. We learned some lessons. We Ooh. sat down, there was four brackets, mm. four Rye's in each one, so 16 Rye's. Bam, first rule, don't listen. Uh, well, go with the plan. 
Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan, and which was to shoot one a day. Yeah, I thought two would Maybe be better. Maybe two. Right. I kind of convinced you for two. But we should have stopped there. Because we were rolling, though. you got to admit, though, three has been the best reviewed. Yes. But you can tell we started to come a little unraveled. We, some of those uh, 16 samples, well, at that point, were up to 12, <laughs> and they were kicking in. Well, I was smelling an A. We got done with three, we said. <laughs> Try my D. Let's shoot the fourth one. <laughs> and we did. We should not have done that. Definitely should not have done the fourth one. I thought a three was, was gold. Three was gold. I didn't drink for a week. Actually, five days after Right. That. Yeah, mine was, I, I think, uh, four days and 15 hours. <laughs> and then I finally tried a real light now, something. I also want to point out, for some reason, after we shot three of them, and I was in my Scotch Trooper shirt and a black ball cap, I thought I needed to change so that the viewers wouldn't think we shot all four of them. Boom. The Always time. good to figure that out, the fourth one in. Like three, shooting three right. is okay. I missed a shirt change. <laughs> From second to third, I kept oh. the same shirt. Then I got but, back on track. So for the championship, Our audio is on, right? Yes. Boom. All right. So for the championship, though, I thought I'm going back to the Scotch Trooper shirt, but then I couldn't find the black hat I was wearing, so you got another ball cap. Good. So to recap, though, uh, we probably should pull in the whiteboard. Let me grab oh. it real All right. All right. So we set it up. We're going to bring it in. All right. Break it down, Bruno. Break it down. Okay. Uh, most of you probably know, if you haven't watched the four brackets, they're black. Brackets. They are filmed individually. Should have been a blackout. Bracket one of four, bracket two of four, three of four, and four of four. One, two, three, four. Bracket one out of Jack Daniels, Rye, Templeton Six, Corsair, Rymageddon, and the Bullet Rye. I chose Corsair, Rymageddon. Templeton Six jumped way out for me. Bartow took the Templeton Six, which oh. and actually that was the one I, I narrowed it down. It was either the Corsair. <laughs> Or the Templeton Go that was advancing. It. Go watch that. And then bracket two hit with Which Whistle some, Pig. Some people oh. are saying it's overrated or overvalued. Sorry, go ahead. Whistle Pig. Overvalued. Rittenhouse. What's overvalued? Rittenhouse.